After all the hype that this game got as it was the first racing game released with the new gen consoles and as well one of the first racing games featuring 60 and 120 hertz refresh rates on consoles. But in reality was this game really worth all of that hype? What's up everyone and welcome to a new video, my name is Omar with Real Gamer Review and today I'll be reviewing Dirt 5 in 2021. Before starting the video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and click the bell icon as it really helps the channel to develop and deliver more relevant content for you guys. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Developed and published by Codemasters, it is the 14th game in the Colin McRae Rally series and the 8th game to carry the Dirt title. Dirt 5 is a racing game focused on off-road racing. There are multiple disciplines within the game that includes rally cross, ice racing, stadium super trucks and off-road buggies. But Dirt 5 is actually a rally game that is not really a rally game. Let me explain. Unlike some of the installments that came before and especially if we compare it with the previous predecessor Dirt Rally 2.0, Dirt 5 is actually very arcadey when it comes to the driving part. While Dirt Rally 2.0 and some other installments of the series were focused on a more realistic approach when it came to the driving mechanics. Dirt 5 has a much more forgiving driving style. Yes, you will feel the driving mechanics and physics changing depending on the nature of the surface you are racing on and the type of car you're driving, but still, the game is kind of easy to play and drive and won't take much of an effort to get the hang of it. You will be competing in events during the campaign in a wide range of locations like Arizona, Brazil, Morocco, Nepal, China, Greece, Italy, Norway, New York City and South Africa. The career itself is narrative focused and you'll be competing mainly against a rival driver called Bruno in a series of championships. You will also have a mentor called Alex or AJ, who will every now and then provide you with advice throughout your career. Uh, that's about it, no story around here. The game has around 63 different cars that come with the standard edition of the game, which is a bit on the low side compared to other racing games out there. There are some extra cars if you buy the DLCs or if you purchase directly the year one edition, which is basically something like the complete edition, but for some anonymous reason, Codemaster decided to go on with that name. Another interesting thing written on the official website under the year one edition version, and I quote, it comes with access to every year one post-launch addition to Dirt 5. Does that mean if a DLC is released two years post-launch we won't get it with this edition? I'm not sure to be honest but this sentence caught my eye and it seemed interesting. Anyways, the year one edition also comes with three exclusive vehicles, Aerial Nomad Tactical, Audi TT Safari, Volkswagen Beetle Rally Cross. It comes as well with three exclusive player sponsors with fresh objectives, rewards and liveries, currency and XP boosts, and till the recording of this video, the year one post-launch editions that are already released are called Uproad and Energy Content Packs, which include some extra cars, carrier events, and extreme dynamic weather conditions, and some new sponsors. And since we mentioned the sponsors, the game has sponsors that you get to choose between at a certain point in your career, and each sponsor gives different amount of prizes and rewards for each race and every championship. You have as well a part in the career called Throwdowns, which are mainly one-on-one -on -one races that you get invited to after progressing a bit into the career. There is also the arcade mode, which we all know where you can choose and customize everything before starting the race, nothing extra here. Another mode this game offers, which is called Playgrounds. In this mode, you can customize and edit the tracks by an in-game editor specially made for that. And after creating a track, you can share it with the game's community, and you can of course play as well the tracks created by other players. Most of those tracks are not like circuit looped racing tracks, but instead they are some sort of a closed playground arena. It is a pretty fun addition to the game with some very creative playgrounds added by other players. So mainly the gameplay itself is pretty fun and arcadey. The game actually overall is a bit close to Great 2019, but of course in rally style. 
The multiplayer here is kind of basic as well as it has two main modes which are races and party games. If you go with races on a public server the game will just choose everything for you and match you with another player. As for the private of course you will get some more customization options as this mainly will be played with your friends online. As for the party games I don't know what it is because I just couldn't connect for some reason. I tried multiple times but every time it failed to connect me. And that's about it for the multiplayer. Of course this game was created with the new gen consoles in mind. Yes, it was released as well on the last gen consoles, but this game was the first to introduce the new gen consoles to the 120Hz refresh rates, and actually the list of games that supports that refresh rate on the new gen consoles is not that big, at least till the recording of this video. Also comparing the game new gen version to the old gen version you will notice immediately that vehicles on the new gen consoles reacts more realistically to ambient lighting, giving the game an overall more realistic look. Also all of the locations in this game are very rich in color and bursting with details with NPCs on the sideline and significantly more foliage. The game as well features fantastic dynamic weather conditions and day and night cycle systems with very nice details especially in the rainy and muddy conditions. Dirt 5 as well features a realistic damage system although it is only visual so probably not that realistic but still a very good addition compared to other racing games out there. The game has basic music options unlike some open world racing games that contain different radio channels. The music is mainly on during the main menu, for the audio part I would say it is decent with every car sounding different and of course the environment and other audio effects are pretty decent as well. As always I'll leave you with a few clips so you can judge the audio effects yourselves. So basically if you are looking for an arcade rally game a bit similar to Grid 2019 which is easy to play and you will get a bit of fun out of it I would definitely recommend giving this game a try but also I would recommend not buying it for the full price probably try to grab it at a deal as the full price is a bit too much for what it has to offer. Alright time to wrap this up thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video or you learned something then leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.